Could this AI actually be better than ChatGPT? If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. Now, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go. Check it out. Now, we all know the features of ChatGPT. Things like, for example, if you're on the pro version, which I'm not, you can use ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT Plus, and then you can also use DALI with that. And you know that it also has a good memory as well, which means it can actually remember things you've previously given it. As you can see right now, my memory is full. But you can, uh, if you're a paid member, you can actually have that go for a lot longer than what I could do. Anyhow, you'll know that this is in fact a really, really good tool for you to use for your content creation. Well, I've been using it now for pretty much ever since it came out. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I use it for my blog posts, some of my video scripts, when I'm using picture videos, that kind of thing. We also know that with ChatGPT, it's $20 a month. US dollars, of course. It's not overly expensive, but it can be for some people. In this particular case, I'd like to introduce you to another one called Deep AI. Now, if you want to know the pricing of this one, before we get started, let's have a look over here. With Deep AI, you've got $5 pay as you go. As you're using some of the things, you then end up, for example, for $5, you get to have 100 AI generations, 30 AI video generation calls, AI chat messages, 350 of those, but you can't use the genius mode or the genius mode images. You get ad-free, private messages, and API access. Now for $4.99 a month, you have 500 AI generations, 30 AI video calls, AI chat messages, 1,750. Genius mode messages, which is 60, 60 of those. Genius mode images, which are 60. And you also get ad-free experience, private images, and API access. So this one gives it to you for only $5 a month, which is really, really good. Okay, but how does it stack up to Pictory? Does it have a memory? No, it doesn't have a memory that I'm aware of. However, or if you're anything like me, you can have prompts and everything like that pre-set up in something called TextBlaze. Now, I'll leave a link for all of this down in the description down below. And TextBlaze is awesome. I use it all the time for my prompts because it's much easier than having to write up a massive long thing for it for ChatGPT to remember. Now, let's go have a look over here. I'm going to be using a very, very similar script. Now, I have two scripts, specifically two prompts. This particular one is specifically for Deep AI because it doesn't have certain things in here that I ask ChatGPT. Now, with ChatGPT, I ask it to remember things. But over here, I don't ask it to remember anything because it hasn't got any memory of anything. I haven't told it anything to remember. So let's go and have a look. I'm going to put this prompt in here, which is this one here. I'm just going to go Control A. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to pop this straight into here. Control V. Now let's go all the way to the top. Now the video that we're going to be getting it to create, or the script that we're going to get it to create, is called Three Hidden AI Tools That Will Make Your Product Creation Easier. And I asked it to be sure to include things like Designer, Cap Cuts for Pictory AIs, and Deep AI. So I've got it to include itself. Now another thing I'm going to get it to do is I'm going to just hit Start Chat and it will be able to create the script for me. Now, as you can see, it's gone straight into creating the script for me without any major issues. Now, I did ask it to create it and make sure it was 1,500 words long. So it will be interesting to find out how many words it can do. Now, with ChatGPT, I know for a fact that it can do very close to the number I want. So I'm just going to grab this one, which is the script for ChatGPT, or the prompt, I should say, for ChatGPT. I'm going to just pop that straight into here. 
and I don't need to adjust it. I know it's exactly how I want it. And we just go there. And I'll have it, we'll see which one creates it faster and also which one creates it better. See which one has a better way, a better take on it. Let's have a little look here. Well, that's quite nice and long. Let's have a little look. Let's see if it, yeah, that would be very, very close to being 1500 words long. So I'm going to copy this. And we're going to put this straight into a Word document. I'm going to create a new Word document just here. And this specific one is going to be pasting this one here. Now, for me to find out the, the word count, I'm going to go over here to Review. And I'm just going to hit Word Count. It's giving me 1,240. That's straight off the bat. Now, I know that when I've told, asked ChatGPT in the past to write me up a 1,500 word prompt, or a 1500 word script, it's given me like 800 words, 750 words. So that's 1240. I'm impressed with that. That's actually pretty good. So we'll have a look over here. Let's go do another one so we can have a second blank one for ChatGPT to put in. And we'll have a quick look over here and see what it's going to be giving me. Okay, so we're still going. So it looks like it may well be quite a long script. Yes, it is. This will probably reach 1,500 words. We'll have a little look. And it's doing what I wanted to do, which is put each putting each sentence on a new line, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And they both did that, which is what I part of the prompt in which I asked it. So I'm just going to copy that. Let's pop this in the new blank one over here. And we'll go Control V. We'll place that straight in there. And I'm just going to make sure there's no top prompts up here saying sure or anything like that. OK, there we go. Let's go down to the bottom and go over here to review. We'll go to the word count. OK, 1433. That's a bit closer to the mark that I wanted. But let's have a look at what it can do. Now, one of the things I did ask it to do was to introduce the topic before it introduced me. All right, let's dive into the fascinating world of AI and how it can make product creation easier than ever before. Okay, so that's the first line. Let's go and have a look at what the other one says. Let's go up here. Creating products can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task, right? You've got ideas bouncing around in your head, but actually turning those ideas into tangible products. That's where things get tricky. This is good. I have to say, I like this. But don't worry. Today we're diving into three hidden AI tools that can make product creation way easier. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, guys. Henry here from Product Creation Formula. Here. Okay. This is perfect because I had given it this area here that I wanted it to put in exactly word for word. And it looks like it did it. So let's kick things off with designer. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get into it. All right. So I like this. I have to say, I'm impressed. I am really, really impressed with this. Okay. So I I think I like this script better. I mean, I, I know ChatGPT is one and it always uses things like, let's dive into this or let's do that. and But... I really enjoy I really like this one. I like the way it's worded. CapCuts makes it super easy to slice and dice video clips. Okay. I did ask it to make it casual. It's making it probably a little too casual. One of the beauty, one of the beautiful parts of ChatGPT is it does have a memory and it knows I'm 60 years old. So it makes it age appropriate. So let's have a look at what it does here for CapCuts and see what ChatGPT has said. I'm going to scroll down until I find cap cuts and we'll see what it says. Let's talking about NVIDIA. I didn't ask it to talk about NVIDIA. I didn't ask it to talk about Lumen 5. I gave it very specific instructions. Wow. Okay, this is really bad because it's not following my instructions. It's decided to go its own route. It may be that it's, oh my gosh. It's also using Scribble AI instead of Designer. It has completely thrown it off. It's nothing like what I wanted. 
Wow. Okay. That's not cool. Now, I'm going to give it a prompt for an image as well. Now, I'm going to give ChatGPT an image prompt, and I'm also going to be giving, because I'm allowed to do certain prompts with ChatGPT, and to be able to bring up a few images, and I'm also going to be giving a prompt to DeepAI. So I'll be back in a minute while I go ahead and do that. I'm just going to write up a prompt, give them exactly the same prompt, and see what it comes up with. Okay, so what I wrote was, please create a photo of a humanoid-looking robot that is sitting at a desk. It is typing on a computer, editing PLR Word document. The robot looks like it is enjoying itself while typing. So I'm going to be putting this into ChatGPT. Hopefully I have got some, I'm able to do this. It, sometimes it doesn't let me if I've used up too much, if I'm no longer able to do it on ChatGPT4. Let's see if it'll create it for me. It is good. That's great to see. Okay, so let's go over here. And I know that if I go over here, I can go up to the top and create images. So let's go back over here. AI image generator. We click on that. And I'm going to just get rid of that. It's the previous one I had. Now it does give you so much extra things you can do. So let me just get rid of all that. Go control V. Now I've got this in the genius mode and I want this as quality, which means it's probably going to be a little bit slower. But what I do want is for it to be really good quality. Now, it also gives you various styles you can choose from. So I'm going to just click on this one. And I don't want this, the Cyberpunk one. I think this particular style would be good. Okay, now go to Control V. Now, this is the style I want. And let's go generate and see what it can do for me. This is the previous one I had to generate. And look at how good that one was. Now, I'll wait for this one to come up and see what it creates. As you can see, it does take a little while, but so does ChatGPT. It's not instant either. So this one here, oh, it's got PLR on its actual robot itself. That's not too bad. And that does look like a Word document, which is fantastic. And it says PLR Word document, which is awesome. So it'll be really interesting to see what this one comes up with. Oh, wow. This is a much nicer looking human. This is a much nicer looking robot. And this looks kind of like a Word document. I like them both, to be perfectly honest, but I think I like this one best. So as images go, all you have to do is just hit that, and it'll download it wherever you want it, which is really good. And as you can see, you've got two different images. So this is the first one that came up with, and that was a really nice-looking image as well. And it gives makes it you know, probably a little bit less creepy. And there you have it. So... Which one do I prefer? I, I like Deep AI better. Do I, I actually like how it writes things? And I like the images better. As you can see, this kind of gives it a scary, not so friendly robot look. Whereas this one gives it the more humanoid look, makes it look nicer, makes it look a lot more friendly. It's something that's not going to try and rip your throat out at the first opportunity it gets. <laughs> so my preference is deep AI. I didn't know if I would actually find one that would be one I would consider as good, if not better than ChatGPT. Now, all they need to do now is allow this to have a memory where it'll remember various things and I'll convert to this in an instant and only use deep AI because it's cheaper and it writes better, which is but I love. Which is my preference? Well, Deep AI is definitely my preference now. That might change in the future if ChatGPT ends up with more features and ends up doing things in a, in a slightly different way. And they improve it in various ways and writes, writes things slightly differently. But yeah, I think Deep AI is a better version than ChatGPT. All right, guys. If you got some value out of this video, have you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Deep AI. Also, to let you know, the right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, that's an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.